As you've already likely learned, record keeping is an essential part of OSHA compliance. This course is designed to help you walk a fine line in this documentation process. OSHA record keeping is required for illnesses and injuries that need medical treatment beyond first aid. Likewise, any incidents that require first aid do not need to be recorded. But what exactly is first aid? Where is the line between first aid and medical treatment? We consulted with OSHA and we have an all-inclusive list to share. It's a bit lengthy, but if you're in charge of documentation, you've got to know this list like the back of your hand. All of these items are considered first aid for record-keeping purposes. Using non-prescription medication at non-prescription strength, tetanus shots, cleaning surface wounds, wound coverings, butterfly bandages and stair strips, hot therapy, cold therapy, non-rigid means of support like elastic bandages or wraps, temporary immobilization devices for transporting an accident victim like splints, slings, or backboards, drilling of a fingernail or toenail to relieve pressure, draining a blister, using eye patches, removing splinters or foreign material from areas other than the eye with tweezers, irrigation, or cotton swabs, using finger guards, using massages, and drinking fluids for relief from heat stress. Now, it should also be noted that seeing a doctor does not necessarily mean a person has received medical treatment. For example, visiting a licensed healthcare professional solely for observation of counseling is not a required recordable. Diagnostic procedures like blood tests, x-rays, MRIs, or using eye drops to dilate the pupils for diagnostic purposes do not need to be recorded. And if a doctor or other licensed healthcare provider performs any of the first aid treatments listed above, OSHA does not require that this be recorded. First aid is considered first aid, whether performed by a coworker or a licensed healthcare provider. Let's look at a series of examples to help you fully understand the difference between first aid and medical treatment. Zoe is clearing brush from around the building when a branch snaps, sending a splinter into her eye. Removing the splinter is considered medical treatment because it involves her eye. But if Manuel is moving boards and picks up a splinter in his hand, and this splinter can be removed using simple means such as tweezers, it is considered first aid. Here's two tricky ones. Imagine that Alexander has work-related persistent back soreness. He receives massage therapy to aid in his recovery. This is considered first aid. But if Joseph has persistent back soreness and receives a series of chiropractic adjustments, the chiropractic care is considered medical treatment. And for our last example, imagine that Wanda receives a cut on the arm at work and is taken to the on-site nurse for treatment. If the nurse needs nothing more than butterfly strips to close the wound and stop bleeding, this is considered first aid. Remember, first aid can't be performed by a medical professional. It's not medical treatment just because Wanda is being treated by a nurse. But if Wanda needs stitches or medical glue, this is considered medical treatment. If you need more information, you can consult the OSHA website or reach out with a question. But if the care or intervention is not on this list, it's not first aid. It's medical treatment. And if it's medical treatment, the injury or illness must be recorded. It's as simple as that.